good morning youtube welcome back to another video so today we've got a little bit of a tidy up to do on this hedge and this front section so we're going to make it look as nice as possible so yeah this is kind of the before so we're going to give it a nice trim now the customer the other side has shaped it so it slopes down so i'm going to kind of have to go with that shape but we're going to tidy it up anyway cut it all back and round it off and make it look hopefully nice i've got my lovely wife to be helping me we're getting married in what seven weeks six weeks, six weeks. oh it's coming around quick isn't it um so anyway we're gonna get this done get this tidy and um i'll show you after when it's done No, no politics or fuss, no catching the bus We get back in the van, now we're on it with Sam Not Sam, you fool, let's big out It's only the team of the week, we ain't the phonies We cut the grass, we cut the trees And work our butts off whilst watching for bees The bugs and the nature are part of the job We earn our money whilst others go rob Get off your ass and don't be lazy, boy The shit just drives me crazy There's only one way to be It's kind, it's free, but awesome A legend like the TTG The Tattoo Gardener Yeah, the Tattoo Gardener Yeah, the Tattoo Gardener Yeah, the Tattoo Gardener Yeah, inspire and work and lead the way Right, anyway, I'm gonna crack on I'm gonna get this last little bit done the side He then... promised me Subway I, you'll get a subway, don't worry about that. And a Starbucks. That. Just, just, it will happen, all right? I've got work to do first. Inspiration to peeps every day. Come rain or sun, no moaning, you're done. Just get off your ass until the work's done. Yeah, Stephen Cheese, the boy from Dorset. He's top of the pops, no grand or socks. He'll string the grass and smash a window. But we forgive him, the cheddar's a dream, though. So please subscribe to the YouTube channel. And thanks for the support, your legends and more, though. Yeah, Stephen Cheese, the boy from Dorset. He's top of the pops, no grand or a socks. He'll string the grass and smash a window. But we forgive him, the cheddar's a dream, though. So please subscribe to the YouTube channel. And thanks for the support, your legends are more, though. Yeah, it's Tattoo Garden, yeah, the Tattoo Garden, yeah, the Tattoo Garden. <laughs> Oh, my battery's died for the first time. Oh, gutted. I've not charged the battery on this and I've had it for the best part of six months. Unbelievable. Yeah, get in there. He's got a problem, Peter. What's that? Ah. Oh. Because you put too much weight in it. 
Okay. Um, so you have to take some bit out. Yep. Yeah. And put it in this bag that you're going to put the edge cuttings in. Okay. Uh, I mean, this bag's almost full. Um, so I can I can maybe put it into another bag. Whatever, but you have to solve it somehow. Okay. Yeah, okay, no worries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll sort it. My neighbour tells me they put a note in it, but if you do find it, can you hand it to me? The note, okay. I'll have a look on the bin. Thank you. Right. Right, there's the after. I know it's a funky shape on the top, but as I said, that's the way the hedge has been cut previously, so I'm just taking the skimmy bits off, shaped up the choice here. Everything's had a bit of a haircut, so cool. Right, that was eventful. So we're home now, we've got the hedge done, but you may have heard the customer there came out and he said, oh, Pete, we've got a bit of a problem. The, the bin's full, it's too heavy, they're refusing to empty it. You've basically got to deal with it. And I thought, oh, great. So basically the garden waste bin was heavy. It was heavy, admittedly, it was quite heavy. And I said to the customer last week when I was there, I said, the bin's heavy, it's really full. What do you want me to do with it? And he said, I'll leave it, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Um, so anyway, I turned up today to do the little hedge there in the front, just face that off and tidy it up. And I said, where do you want me to put the hedge clippings? You know, obviously the bin's full. Do you want me to put them on the bonfire in the back garden? And he said, no, I don't want that. So I said, well, look, I can put them in a ton bag and I'll have to take the clippings away for you. So not a problem. So I bagged it all up when I was finished and I, I was loading up the van and he says, look, the bin's full. The council were refusing to empty it because it's too heavy. He said, you've put too much stuff in it, basically. Um, you've got to deal with it. And I thought, OK, well, suddenly it's become my problem. But really, it's not my problem. It's a customer's problem because they haven't got enough. If, you, if you've if you only got one garden waste bin and one garden visit, like if I do a visit there and I fill that bin and the bin only gets emptied every two weeks, that means the week in between when the bins get emptied that bin's still gonna be full. So at that point, I'm thinking, well, okay, so like today I've turned up, the bin's still full. It's like, okay, where do you want me to put the clippings, you know? And I've had it so many times where customers say, oh, well, aren't you just gonna take the waste away? Well, no, I have to charge because if I take garden waste to the tip, I get charged. And, and I try and explain this to people, but they don't seem to grasp it. It's either that or they just don't want to pay. But then why should, at the end of the day, it's costing me then, if they expect me to take it away for free, which I'm not gonna do, if I take waste away, I'm gonna get charged. So I'm gonna be out of pocket. So that's why we have to charge the customers to take the waste away. So I tried to explain all this. I ended up taking the hedge clippings away and then I ended up taking half a garden waste bin of rubbish away into a second tum bag. So he effectively got two tum bags taken away for the price of one and that it kind of frustrated me but at the end of the day i want to keep the peace with the customer because i'm a nice guy you know i'm not a bad guy but at the same time i'm a businessman and you can't keep taking the piss out of me because i'm not gonna i'm not gonna do that for everyone i'm not gonna take waste away for free because if i take waste to the tip i get charged it's my wear and tear on the van to drive to the tip. It's my fuel to drive to the tip. And then it's the charge from the tip. So ultimately, you know, I've got to, if I'm taking waste away, I've got to charge. It's as simple as that. So anyway, I reluctantly had no choice. I did have a choice, but I didn't. I just, again, I wanted to keep peace. So I took the bag away, the hedge clippings, which I charged him for. I charged him for the hedge clippings tum bag. And the, the bag of crap that came out of the bin, I didn't charge for. I did that out of goodwill. When I go next week, if that bin is still like half full and then I put more weeds on it or more clippings or whatever, then that bin is full again. And then if there's anything left over, it's like, what do I do with it? Because he doesn't want to pay to have the waste taken away. That's Charlie, my son. Are you all right? Yeah. Do you want to come and say hello? Wanna come and say hi? Hi. You should say to people, please subscribe to the Douglas channel. Say please subscribe. Say hello. Good boy. Um so yeah, I don't know. It's it's one of them as a business you try and keep the peace, but at the same time 
you kind of have to charge for taking waste away because otherwise it's just you know the secret is to know the size of your garden look at the amount of shrubbery you've got and go okay but when that's all cut and the grass is all cut and the weeds are all put in it i'm going to need more than one garden waste bin and it, it happens all the time but listen is what it is it's it's going to be a continuing problem oh dear what are you watching you watching Thomas? Yeah. Thomas the Tank? Yeah. Right, I'm gonna have to go guys. He's watching Thomas the Tank and I've got to get ready for bed. Thanks for watching this little video. I appreciate your support on the channel. If you're new here and you ain't been before, please consider subscribing. You'd be supporting a little family channel as well as a gardening channel. It means a lot to all of us. So uh, yeah, anyway, see you later guys. Take care. See you on the next one. We've got more gardening action coming up. I've got some more collaborations with Rob and I've got a few other little things happening as well. So it should be really good. Anyway, I'm going to go sort these kids out. Take care. See you on the next one. Peace out.